Hello, my name is Denise Renner, and I want to read to you my August teaching letter. Dear friend, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me today. I have something on my heart I want to share with you that I think affects each of us at some time in our life, maybe even right now. Being influenced by the negative opinions of others around us or even the negative opinions of ourselves can be so detrimental. Those negative feelings, thoughts, or words can devour us from taking a hold of our God-given assignment. But God has a better plan. I want to share by starting a very familiar story in the Bible, David facing Goliath. In 1 Samuel 17, we read that David, a lowly shepherd, had already decided that he would be the one to take down the Philistine giant who was threatening the Israelites. But David's older brother, Eliab, mocked him and said, Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and insolence of your heart, for you have come down to see the battle. Verse 28. Eliab was trying as hard as he could to crush David's confidence. Then David replied to his brother in verse 29, What have I done now? Is there not a cause? But I love what verse 30 says about David's response to his older brother. Then he turned from him, Eliab, toward another and said the same thing. And these people answered him as the first ones did. 1 Samuel 17, verse 30. David didn't snap back. He didn't let Eliab draw him into a fight of a fleshly argument. He didn't get bitter. He didn't yell at his brother. He didn't cry to himself. Oh, I need support from my big brother. Doesn't he realize what I'm about to do? He didn't think. Oh, Eliab is probably right. I need to go back to those few sheep. All the scripture says is that David turned. There was the older brother full of ridicule, criticism, and rejection toward the younger brother. David heard Eliab's words, but then the younger brother did an about face and he turned from those words. That was a huge accomplishment on young David's part. Eliab's opinion of him could very well have stopped the younger brother. What if David had gotten his feelings hurt? What if he had swallowed those words and decided to believe them? As the youngest brother, David had probably been raised to yield to his older brother and respect his words. But in this high stakes situation with a giant that had to be defeated, David turned from Eliab and gave no attention to his words. And that was meant to shut down that younger brother's confidence and to stop him in his tracks. Here is what we need to know. There will be times when you have to face a giant in your life. For instance, the Lord may ask you with the supply that he's given you to do something for him that seems impossible to accomplish in the natural. And as you're getting ready to face your enemy, it is very likely that right before it's time for you to 
chop off the giant's head, the devil will send an Eliab to you with an opinion that tempts you to feel discouraged or inadequate for the task. Most likely, we've all experienced this at one time or another. We'll be preparing to step out of our comfort zone to give from our supply. We'll be all fired up, excited, and ready to go. And then someone walks up and says something that deflates us. At that point, we have a choice. Will we listen to that negative opinion and say, Oh, that's right. I need to go back to the field and tend the sheep. I'm not as anointed as that other person. Or will we turn from that negative opinion and do what God has told us to do? If that ever happens to you, do what David did. Simply turn from the voice of the naysayer and refuse to receive that opinion. Go tell someone else what you're going to do or simply voice your intention to God and whether anyone else believes you. Don't let yourself relax your grip on the assignment you've received from Him. Every one of us has a responsibility to turn from different people's opinions when their opinions do not match the Word of God or go contrary to what He has clearly instructed us to do by His Spirit. We have to continually keep ourselves aligned with and in agreement with His opinions. Because if we don't, someone else will be telling us who we are what we can do, or how far we can go in life. Friend, it is never anyone else's place to tell you who you are, what you can do, or how far you can go in life. That plan was put inside your spirit many years ago by God. And as we continue to push past the negative opinions of those around us and even the negative thoughts we may have about ourselves, we are agreeing with God's plan and His opinions about us. It is in that agreement that we find power to move forward past the obstacles of negative opinions. Just imagine that Jesus is on the other side of whatever it is you are going through and he's cheering you on saying, you can do it. I am in you and you can do all things because I am strengthening you. The Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Isaiah 54 verse 17. That is what we see acted out in the life of David as we turned, as he turned from the opinions of his older brother who tried to discourage him from doing what God called him to do kill the giant. That same power of the Holy Spirit is inside you to defeat every weapon that is set against you and to silence each voice that rises up against you in judgment. Thank you again for spending this time with me. If there is any way we can pray for you, please let us know. You can call us at 
800-742-5593 or email us at prayer at deniserenner.org and there will be someone from our team waiting, just waiting to pray with you. And if God has done anything special in your life through this teaching, please let us know. I continue to hear from many of you who have read Unstoppable and are experiencing freedom and victory. And I'm so thankful for each and every response, comment, and testimony. I love your responses and I read all of them. I also want to invite you to watch my program, Time with Denise Renner, on YouTube, Facebook, or Telegram. Well, this is Denise Renner and Rick Renner and our family saying, just like David, we are turning from the negative opinions of others and we are moving forward together. Denise Renner.